Hi everybody, I'm Lee of CJ Drill, and today I want to talk to you about, well, this is a this is a question that comes up quite a bit, and it's for people that are learning to use a router, that's that's what this is here. They don't quite know, because it can be confusing, which direction to move the router in. Now here's the thing, there's two different kinds of cuts. There's what's called a push cut, and now that's what I'm going to show you, and there's something else called a climbing cut. Now a push cut is the safer of the two. And so if you're learning how to do um, woodworking and you're learning the, the router, okay, you want to stick with a push cut. A more experienced woodworker might want to use a climbing cut because there's some instances when, when you use a climbing cut. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to bring you in close and I'm going to show you exactly what a push cut should look like. Now what I have in here is a, it's called a roundover bit. And the way you can know that you're going in the right direction is the bit will be rotating away from the wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the, the router and then I'm going to turn it off so you can see what direction the blade is moving. Now I'm going to make the cut. I've got my router off the wood and I'm going to start the router and then I'm going to come in. Okay, so maybe you're thinking, well, well wait a second, Leah, i got to turn on the router every time? I want to figure out which way the blade is rotating so I'll know when I'm doing a push cut. No, you don't have to do that. There's another trick. And what it is, is you want to push the router counterclockwise around the outside of the piece you're working on. Now let me show you what that looks like. So let's say this is our work piece here. What you want to do is you want to take the router and you want to move the router on the outside counterclockwise around the piece. So let me show you. Okay, so here's the thing. There's just one last thing I have to tell you about doing a push cut. If you're, say for example, you're working inside a piece, well, what would that be? If you're uh, routing out the center of a countertop where you're going to place a sink, you're working inside the piece, well, the direction changes. Now you want to go clockwise to the piece. I hope that that clears up any confusion that you might have had about what direction to push that router in, what's a push cut and what's a climbing cut. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.